the seven most common mistakes when learning to wheelie. I need more power. I need a 450 motocross bike. I need to turbocharge my 450 motocross bike. No, you just need to learn good technique and practice a lot. We will only feature DR650 wheelies to show you that horsepower and light weight simply aren't that important. Not covering the rear brake. You need to learn this right from the start. Dab the rear brake every time you finish a wheelie. This needs to become second nature because when you go past the balance point, your brain will be screaming, bail, bail. We have a whole training bit on covering the rear brake. Get into it or you will do this. This. This and this. And all you four stroke riders, don't think that engine brake will always save you. Pushing down, then pulling back on the bars. A very common mistake. Your body comes forward, which de weights the rear wheel. So it's more likely to spin and you lose drive just when you need it. Instead you should be pushing down through the foot pegs and compressing both the front and rear suspension. You get extra traction, you still get lift at the front and your body is positioned correctly for the wheelie. See our training bit on the slow practical wheelie <laughs> if you want to be a real man. I must use the clutch. Well, maybe on a one litre sports bike or a Harley, but otherwise, no. Using the clutch is just a crutch for bad technique. Sure, you can learn it later, but in the early stages, popping the clutch is a bad idea. You could be using the wrong technique and not realise this, because clutching is getting the front wheel up anyway. This leads to the next point, try not to pick up speed. When your technique is good, the front wheel should be up high with a minimal increase in speed. This means you've nailed the technique. Instead of completely relying on throttle, you have weighted the suspension and timed it with moderate use of throttle. Mistake number six, starting with fast wheelies. Look, we all dream of the top gear wheelie down the main street and girls throwing their panties at us in admiration. But if you are serious about wheelies, then start slow and practice your drills. You are less likely to kill yourself and you will learn a lot faster. Again, see our vid about the slow practical wheelie. Also, we strongly advise you don't wheelie on the street. We have enough dickheads doing this already and helping to close down our riding areas. And finally, don't aim for the balance point straight away. Sure, it looks cool. 
Yes, there's a very slight chance girls might throw their panties at you. And maybe even some guys. But when you are learning, just keep focusing on technique. Lift the front wheel a little and make sure you cover that rear brake. The harder you push for the balance point too quickly, the less you will learn. So, there you have it guys, the seven most common mistakes, <laughs> at least as I see them. We have quite a few in our wheelie training collection now. Stand up wheelies, slow sit down wheelies, covering the rear brake, the small practical wheelie, and for the brave of heart and large of testicles, or ovaries, the 12 o'clock wheelie guide. And remember, if no one sees you wheelie, it never happened. I should say, of course, that I am no expert, but we have spoken with various pro-level riders in putting these bits together. So if you end up as a paraplegic, sue them, not me. There is nothing that beats the feeling of when you really start to nail it, though. There's a lot of pose value to wheelies, but if you are serious about your dirt riding, then wheelies can teach you so much about balance, throttle control and clutch slipping. And there is a lot of practical value too, especially when it comes to getting over logs and other obstacles. Good luck! <laughs>